God bless you. Well, another day to preach. Another day to get out and do ministry. So, in perseverance and endurance, we come out to preach. Praise be the Lord who guides us for these little moments that we do have. For our time on earth is but short, but a puff of smoke. So use that time wisely, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. And it's for those things that we need God to chasten us as his children. For we need much refinement, much growth, much learning. I know as I come out here to preach, and to those to do what little I can do with street ministry, that they would hearken and consider, and also to prepare for some other ministry I have to do in the week. I say pray for them. Pray for all of them that hear the words I come to speak and to bring. Pray for them that God open their hearts and their minds and soften them. Pray for them all. Pray for the message I have to bring this week will be accepted. They will not be unto an offense that they would hearken and consider. So that what I must do Wednesday go well. Lord bless us and guide us. Amen. You see, we, we live as light. We live as the salt. It's to purge and to purify. We live as the light. For it is the light of Christ shining in us that instructs us and for us is given the great commission to share the gospel. Christ crucified. His love, His grace, His mercy upon us that we can be reconciled to the Father. To repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. To recognize the holiness of God and to accept Him. To take heed in all instruction and mercy. To be blessed and loved of Him. To follow and abide in Him. You see, man is given unto lusts of the world, pleasures of the world. But when a person is even so empty, they have no interest, no hobby, no pleasure in anything. All they do is walk in but negativity. Walk in but misery. How do you reach such? They don't even care about light nor dark. So as for that, we pray that the words will fall on ears, that will hearken. If but a glimpse of light increase, and that but a ray of hope finally glimmer in them, they may consider more than just nothing. The day and age where the world creates nihilists, an empty world of selfishness and ruthless ambition, a world without love nor kindness, But to wish to preach the word of the Lord, and yet the word be ignored by so many. Well, the grief of failure can be unbearable. So we pray that we stand ever steadfast, that we ever endure, we ever persevere. Because God is righteous, and His righteousness will triumph. So, we call on the Lord to help us in all things, so that our anguished spirit can be renewed as we come to God for rest, for Jesus to give us living waters and replenish our souls, so that we can have the mighty power of God fill us and guide us as we come in supplication and prayer unto our Lord to help us. Because life can be wearying at times and lonely. But God is there to help us through. And it is us recognizing where we fall short, repenting and seeking His forgiveness and His washing and rejuvenation. 
so that you can overcome your struggles and your frustrations in life. So that you can stand ever earnest in Christ. So that you can wait upon the Lord so that you're not burdened by sin. Because Jesus makes you free. And we wish for all to be unburdened as Christ unburdens us. But so many ignore the word and this, that hardship of getting out there and keep on preaching as tiring as it does become at times. Even while ill, one must persevere. Because if we don't, you already know the fate of the wicked. And that's why you trust in the Lord and that's why you wait upon him. And that's why you can't forget the burden. Because those that don't come in and die in their sins unto judgment next. Fear God, keep the commandments, for that is man's all. All things, whether good or wicked, shall be judged. So uh, we seek unto the Lord that we can be his delight, not his lamentation in our walks, to walk faithfully and earnestly. So we can walk denying self, picking up our cross and following him. That means self-control that comes from fruits of the spirit. That means love. So you can consider what is taught and it's because of love that you wish to be obedient, not disobedient. So that God's law is in your heart. And in his mercy, he shall raise you up as you resist the devil. As you surrender self to God, to will and to do, so that your soul does thirst for the Lord. That your hearts do care for those in need, so you can be a blessing upon them. Because there is much evil out here. Even making my journey here, I had to walk past a few wearing horns and pentagrams, skulls and so forth. Uh, it's persevering and sitting down here in peace while my heart was in much pain and struggle. And I'm still persevering with this sickness at the minute. But I am rather stubborn. I would say I was resilient, but that's only because of God who strengthens me. Without Him, I would still be the same old cripple. For I have not forgotten the past. It is one thing to always remember to not be the dog that goes back to the vomit, which is that past. Because he redeemed us. So search your hearts to see if you are standing for the faith. So that you not be the dog eating that vomit once more. But instead running the race to the finish. Always ready and seeking for the eternal kingdom of God. That we can persevere. So that we can endure and overcome. <clears throat> For God is your refuge and your king. He is your strength and weakness. And the greatness of the Lord is always there. So trust in him and not in riches of this world. They do not lust. They eventually wither away and they perish and rust and mold and so forth. Tear and rent apart. For it is God that will judge the hearts the quick and the dead so consider it and be thankful in all things and grateful and merciful show the mercy he has showed you to others the love and compassion he has shown you show it to others to live as light so pray that I can do something on Wednesday I do ask that the Holy Spirit be there for them that they would hearken and consider. That they would follow and learn and listen. And praise your holy name, Lord. And I pray I can reach you with the word. Even if it be but dribs and drabs, may I reach you. May we be resilient and sow in seed. And not tiring in doing good.
Oh, unto God be the glory. Oh, glory to God. For salvation is only found in you, Lord. And we know a broken and contrite heart you will hear. So we pray for those suffering, for those struggling, and for those so far that have not heard the word in the name of Almighty Jesus that they will. We rebuke Satan and his demons and his wicked spirits that come upon them. That they be rebuked and removed in the name of Jesus. That they can hear and see clearly. And you wash them clean in the blood of the Lamb. That they be cleansed. And can come unto your forgiveness. And be rewarded in faithfulness. That they can hearken to your words. May we fear thee and serve thee earnestly to be delivered by thee. In the name of Jesus we doth pray, amen. And amen. Well, there is much to be done and not much to do it. And in your battles and in your worries and in your fears, you have assurance of God in your life. He's there every step of the way. You need but only call upon him. Ask you receive, knock, door be answered, seeking you find. Don't be surprised when you find yourself in various trials. Instead, endure and wait upon the Lord, for God's defense is there for the righteous. And there is victory in God, who is always there to help. He is your rock and your salvation. He is your defense to so seek His presence in your life. Rejoice in his righteousness and don't trust in unjust lawyers and unjust judges in the world. And expect them to fight your cause, for it is God that fights the cause. If you had not learnt this yet, I pray you heed this now. They are given unto the world, for they are unjust. They are given unto a council, but they must put the world first. But you and I must put God first, and God alone. So make a joyful noise in the Lord, praising Him and thanking Him for all He does for you. As your soul thirst and hunger and trust in the Lord every step of the way. So be enduring and worship the Lord. And trust in Him for protection, for guidance and instruction. Cry out to him when you do need help. Don't be afraid to ask. Because he's there for us in our weakest moments. But it's up to us to call on him. For he is righteous and does not deny himself. There's no prosperity for the wicked after this life. Don't hunger for their riches in this world. Remember, they're not satisfied. That's why they can't get enough. That's why they're so greedy. That's why they're so selfish. Don't be as the world is. Don't be as Christ would have you be. So learn from Him and follow Him. Because there's nothing to look forward to in a wicked world. Because we are starting to see the increase of darkness and wickedness in people's hearts and a closing off of people's minds. So, just as in Second Timothy that warned us about in the last days and those perilous times, and how people would be lovers of themselves, we do see such a heavy burden of selfishness and greed. People coveting things, they, they can't get enough. What they have is never enough. It's always something else. The next big expensive thing they want. They can't just be happy and content. They haven't learnt contentment. And they boast of the things they have. And they're proud of them. And they themselves are full of pride and expect you to think as they do. And if you do not, then they cannot get to grips with you. Nor consider you. And they love to blaspheme and we see so much of that today. We see so much disobedience and unthankfulness, unholiness. People without natural affection, 
what can a person do for them instead of them caring about people and what they can do. People that do not keep their word, they cannot be trusted to be honest. Accusers, falsely, un- honestly. People without self-control, fierce and despisers of those that are good. They hate any goodness they see, for they is the opposite to themselves, for they do not want good. They want the bad. They desire the bad and enjoy it and consider it their way and their lot. When one is the opposite of it, instead of wanting to be the light before others, they want to be the dark. They want to be eye fry. They want to be prideful. They want to put themselves above others. They want to be wrathful. They want to be disobedient. They want to be greedy. They want to be treacherous and traitors and untrustworthy. They see lying as just day-to-day bread and butter. They're high-minded and they have a love of pleasure, but a disdain for God. But they are empty and they are lost. And there's no goodness in such lostness. And we know in this day and age, just as in 1 Timothy 4 also warns, Now that the Spirit speaketh expressly, that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, (coughs) giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their consciences seared with a hot iron, They say one thing to you, but they themselves do not do. They are hypocrites. We see deception. We see hate preachers, because that is even a saying. I believe Stephen Anderson is one of the most famous ones for being such. Well, you know, a tree by its roots and a man his deeds. And a man that loves to gleefully hate instead of to pity and to mourn the loss of the lost and to pray for them in love and mercy and compassion, to love your enemies and pray for them. But no, they do not consider. Instead, they just like to hate. It is wrong and it is error. All those that will preach to you absolute terror and fear to coerce you into tithing to them. But no, the early church gave to those that had need, not to those that had want. You see, we are content in what we have. I need of nothing but the Lord. That is the truth. Anything else would be greed, error, and a lie. The life we live is for Christ and not ourselves that we can be obedient in Him, loving to others as He is to us. You see, we are comforted in Christ. And it is for us that we bend our knee to Christ, confessing Him as Lord. And we are to shine as light and to be blameless and harmless sons of God without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, among whom ye shine as the lights in the world. It's for us to stand in faithful service, that we, to win Christ, that we stand in all zeal. And no, there are those, just as that preacher that was robbed of a million's worth in jewelry. Well, Why did he need that much in jewelry to wear? Can you imagine that could have been spent on how many poor, hungry and needy? Oh, but just like those that need multiple airplanes. One just doesn't seem to be enough. Gold and riches in this world are their lot. But no, live in the spirit and crucify the flesh. I'd rather no one ever gave anything to me. 
than for them to give with the wrong heart. I'm just a small street ministry. I'd rather encourage you to start ministry. I'd rather for you to start doing what I do, as little as this may be, to go out and preach Christ crucified, to see those that are in need, to find out what their plights are, and to bring what they need, not what they want. Money in idle hands is a toy of the devil, and Satan has many tools for them to use it and waste it upon. As I preach out here earlier today, those tweaking from substance abuse, those drunk from alcohol abuse, and yet we come out to preach in love and compassion, bringing them food and water, Bible tracts and the gospel in the hope that one day they may heed it and turn from their ways. That they bear fruit worthy of repentance. Things to consider. We live as lambs to slaughter. To live our lives in acceptable sacrifice unto our Lord. That we live faithfully in Christ. That we stand in faithful service to Christ to have a pattern of good works for it is not I that live but Christ in me greater is he in me than the prince of this world and it's to seek for God to lead you in paths of righteousness for his namesake it is for you to seek him to be a light upon your path and to ask him to instruct you in what to do and how to do and for us to will and to do we desire to be as pleasing children, as humble as children, as obedient children, as faithful children. The choice is ours. Well, we have much to do and we seek to walk worthy. For if we are to follow him, then we are to walk as him. And our hope is in Christ for all glory is the Lord's. So stand faithful and steadfast on rock. For Jesus is the cornerstone. Be rooted in Christ. Steadfast unto the end. So leave the old self behind. And you are dead to the old life. So stand steadfast and put on the new man in newness of self. To live and walk in the Christ-centered life. To walk in wisdom and not in foolishness. For the conduct we must walk is the character of Christ before others. And if we walk ungodly before others, they will consider ungodliness acceptable. So when you know better, you do better to be a witness of Christ. For we are called unto holiness, and to be a holy people, 